Welcome to the Treasury Update Podcast, presented by Strategic Treasurer, your source for interesting treasury news, analysis, and insights in your car, at the gym, or wherever you decide to tune in. On this episode of the podcast, host Craig Jeffrey sits down with CEO Rich Grassi of Ion Treasury to discuss their new and improved strategy and corporate vision. They share valuable insights into how the largest provider of treasury and risk management solutions is driving value for customers and what's next in their journey. Listen in to the discussion on the power of ION. Welcome to the Treasury Update Podcast. This is Craig Jeffrey, your host for today's episode. So what's new at ION Treasury since our last podcast? What is the strategy and vision And how is Ion driving value for customers? And what's next? Today's guest is Rich Grassi. He's the CEO of Ion Treasury, a major provider of treasury and risk management solutions. He has over 25 years of experience and a long record of demonstrated success as an operational leader, chief technology officer, CFO, and CEO of OpenLink and Wall Street. In his current role, Rich is focused on delivering solutions that continue to transform treasury through automation and data delivery to inform decision making. He is charged with framing the strategic direction of the company in order to grow its market, acquire new clients, and expand the footprint of the existing client base. Welcome to the Treasury Update podcast, Rich. Thank you, Craig. Ion Treasury serves over 1,100 clients, which are made up of corporations, central banks, financial institutions in over 30 countries. The Ion Treasury portfolio includes seven market-leading treasury management systems, including City Financials, IT2, ITS, OpenLink, Reval, Treasura, and Wall Street Suite. Ion Corporate has undergone a lot of changes. Uh, It's been about a year since our last podcast with Ion Treasury, and you've taken on some additional leadership roles or additional leadership role within the treasury business at Ion. Can you describe to me the Ion Treasury strategy? What's going on? What's different from last year? How should we look at that? It's been a pretty productive year for us at ION. I think our customers are starting to see an aligned strategy and the results of our work over the past year. So as you know, we've been on a journey in Treasury really since 2011 with the acquisition of Wall Street Systems. At that time, we saw great potential within the space. We saw that the markets were pretty diverse, quite expansive, and that there were opportunities to drive increased value to the customers within. So we set out on a journey to innovate, but to do so in a somewhat unique way, focused on improving our customers' business objectives through solutions that are continuously focused on automation, digitalization, and improving process efficiency. So this way, continuing to provide benefits to our customers, but also focused heavily on improving how they do their business. And from there, we've acquired more products in the space. Uh, We've built innovative technology. We've invested more deeply in the products and the services in these markets. And now, nearly uh, a decade later, building, acquiring, combining our treasury businesses, we've set out on a new journey this year as we further unified our portfolio. And that's allowed us to really focus more on innovation, community, data, uh, and customer value, and really to do this at scale. So benefiting not only from a portion of our customers, but the larger community of ION Treasury users. So our vision and our strategy, as you said, Craig, is really around these key tenants, considering how we serve our customers within the ION product that they use today, but also how we can provide increased value with the portfolio of solutions that we have available. And for us, this really comes down to providing our customers with choice. So with a portfolio of solutions, we can offer customers choice in their solution needs today and into the future. We can innovate for them. Importantly, we can innovate at scale, which for us means building once and deploying out to all of our TMS solutions, and then ultimately drive greater value for our community of users. So this strategy is to continue to innovate as we started to do so in 2011, focused on, as I said, automation, digitalization, and improving process efficiencies for our customers, but also driving greater value through innovative product offerings, community benefits, data and analytics, and really leveraging all that ION has to offer across our business for each of the products and our customers. So this portfolio business is now in the, in the treasury space or the corporate space is seven core products that come from 
different backgrounds and you're you're moving through the process of you mentioned uh, common development. I think I want to hold off on the discussion about the technology development where you you would describe it as developing once and being able to deploy it across the board. But you mentioned the area of um, it's a portfolio and you're leveraging things like uh, community and, and as a way of driving value. So how are you how are you seeing that the opportunity to drive greater value for your customers? And but let's be specific in terms of uh, community. For example, you you have a community of 1,100 plus uh, corporate clients. Yeah, so I mean, for us, the, the 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 greater value really comes from how we differentiate ourselves. So as you said, unlike most providers that offer maybe a single solution, uh, Ion instead offers our customers a choice. And, and as you mentioned, we have seven unique products. Um, and each of them is very specific in what they address from a needs point of view. Uh, and as you know, this is a pretty diverse market within Treasury. Uh, so we have solutions that address the diversification uh, and of needs within that marketplace. And, and we believe that this multi-brand approach really provides our customers with a unique opportunity to partner with a solution provider that has obviously great knowledge in the space and can provide multiple options for them. So while we're offering variety and choice, and while we see that as a significant differentiator in the market, uh, we've also been expanding the strategy significantly over the years to further the value we provide to the market in a bunch of different areas, community being one, as you mentioned. But maybe first off, just innovation. So we did talk about innovation and how we develop our solutions, how we like to build them once and make them available across all of our product offerings. So we're not just developing things seven times, we're developing real value add solutions and making them available to all of our community users. So that means we're able to take the best offerings from each of our solutions and build them into uh, new offerings that work across our, our portfolio, a pretty powerful message, if you will. Uh, the second for us is data. So if you think about such a large customer base using Ion Treasury Solutions, we have a great deal of data that can help us to understand customers better, uh, can help us to improve our customer service, it can help us to really drive greater value. We can provide that trade economic operational analysis from the data, which can really offer our customers greater insight and decision support tools that maybe they don't have today. So things like treasury benchmarks, uh, market insights that we can share, and maybe something more timely for us is leveraging this data to help train some of the machine learning algorithms uh, and some new offerings that we're launching here. So you mentioned at least the, the top end of an example of sharing benchmarks or, or trade activity. Can you give an example where you think that value comes in place, maybe maybe even more specifically than the, the category? We actually look at data in two different ways. One is how we can leverage data to be a better company. So thinking about how our customers are using software, thinking about what needs they have, thinking about how we can leverage the data to be a better software provider. And then more towards your point is thinking about how we can leverage data for our customers. So if you think about what the standards are for Treasury, many of our customers and many industry experts, they're operating their Treasury organizations with an understanding of how they do business, but not necessarily understanding about what that business looks like across other, let's call it, like organizations. So if we can provide some of those benchmarks and we can provide greater decision support for our customers, they can start to understand how they match up against other organizations in terms of economic and operational flows, in terms of efficiencies, in terms of costs, in terms of overall analysis. Uh, so those are interesting conversations that we're having now with our customers, and we're working through examples with them to, uh, to help them obtain the information and at the same time providing them views into what we see across our, our community. I think that's a, a mature way of looking at data and, uh, and how you broke it out into those two different ways. Regarding the, the d development and innovation, I think one of the challenges, and you hear people say this, is there's, um, you have so many products, uh, how are you going to develop all of them? And, and you mentioned the, the development, the common development platform, you're developing it once and then leveraging it across the, the portfolio. Um, so you're not developing things seven times, you're developing it once. I guess one of the items there is how is that message going to be shared as you roll out your strategy and some of the activities that you've been doing so that not only your customers, but those who are your potential prospects uh, hear about that? 
Yeah, I, th I think it comes down to innovation, which, as you said, Craig, is a real important uh, tenant to our core strategy. So for us, it really starts with the specific product that maybe a, a customer is using today uh, and continuing to advance that product for the benefit that it provides. That's really important to advance the roadmaps for each of the solutions that we offer. But what we're also started to do now is ensuring that we're driving more value for the customer and addressing clearly their business needs in some of the treasury specific areas, but obviously their technical needs as well. And I mentioned before, we're really focused in trying to help our customers automate their business, uh, clearly reducing their overhead, their costs and whatever operational errors they might have, really helping our customers to digitalize their business, which clearly helps them with information analysis and decision support, and then really helping our customers drive efficiencies. So you can see that we're aiming to improve the partnership we have with our customers, but really help them better manage the business. And for us, that comes in a, in a variety of different ways. We're heavily invested in new solutions that benefit all of our customers, as you said. So when you think about any typical software provider, we're trying to advance the product that our end customer uses, but really trying to drive greater value in the overall portfolio that is ION. And we do that in a variety of different ways. Uh, clearly, we advance the product roadmaps. And clearly, more recently, we've built up what we call value-added solutions. These are cross-product solutions that we can build once and leverage out to the marketplace. And we've got a couple of those that we've launched just recently. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about them, but we've launched a bank account management tool we call IBAM. That helps our customers really understand and manage bank accounts in an easy-to-use interface. It provides greater visibility, ultimately reduces the effort involved with that function. Uh, and when we started to launch this this year, technically we'll build that once and we'll deploy it out to all of our solutions. But from a business point of view, it provides great value towards those core tenants of innovation that we hold at ION. We've also launched similarly what we call a new bank fee analysis module. And that helps our customers understand and manage bank fees, providing them with insight into the costs that, as you know, are often hard to understand today. Um, and that improves decision support and drives greater efficiency for treasuries. We've launched uh, some new connection tools that provide greater flexibility in how our customers connect to banks. Uh, and I mentioned before, but we're also working towards these value-added solutions that provide benefit to the entire community that work across data and analytics. And we've also launched some new solutions that use machine learning. So really exciting tools that uh, they've received pretty overwhelming feedback from our customer base, but they're providing artificial intelligent algorithms to aid in this case, cash forecasts among other items and partnering with many of our customers on these offerings. We're finding real world benefit, uh, rather significant benefit, improving accuracy, gr driving greater visibility, and ultimately allowing our treasurers to gain a greater understanding of, in this case, cash balances, uh, sources of cash, and maybe cash investment, which, as you can tell, can provide our, our customers uh, and new prospects with great benefit. You know, as you, as you look at that, I guess, I guess one question I have is, are you doing anything else differently with your existing clients? You mentioned investing in roadmaps. You mentioned the value for clients and innovation. Yeah, I mean, so for us, remember, we've been in business for quite some time. Uh, we've we've been a product company uh, for for you know nearly a decade, and we've been uh, focused on in investing in these solutions. But uh, as you correctly said, the the strategy this year has altered slightly from what I would call a, a great alignment across products to a real unification across the products. So as you see ION today, you'll see us as a unified company across all our products, uh, investing in each of them and investing in the portfolio benefit that ION can bring. So we talked a little bit about our investment within the products themselves, our investment at scale across the products, our investment in data, our investment in the community, uh, we're also doing some really interesting things with the larger ION group. So something of value that only ION can provide is how we leverage this group considering how we can provide capital markets benefit, data benefits, uh, our commodity division to really deliver unique and innovative solutions for our treasury customers. So as an example right now where 
working to provide data from our ION, Acuris, and Deal Logic acquisitions to our treasury users, uh, which can help aid in market and customer knowledge that's really pertinent to running their treasury business. So really innovative offerings that best leverage the larger ION company. And then to your question, as it relates to our existing customers, when we bring all these businesses together and we unify, we've now unified across our support teams, our services teams, our product teams, our technology teams, our cloud teams, uh, in addition to our sales teams. So now you'll see INS more of a unified company across the portfolio than maybe where we were in the past, where we were aligned, but more maybe product specific focused. Um, and that really helps us as a company to work with our existing customers. That journey has been there uh, over the course of this year. And now instead of separate product companies, we're a more unified treasury solution provider. And we've outlined a business mission and a vision. We've created a set of objectives, of strategies, and goals. Uh, we've outlined that for our one-year journey in 2019, our three-year mission, and our longer-term sort of five-year vision. Um, within the plan, there's a lot of areas of focus, many of which I, I already spoke about regarding strategy, but there are very specific areas of focus around how we partner with our customers. So personally, I'm a strong believer that the key to customer satisfaction is really engaging in a true partnership. And then as a vendor, continuously providing ongoing value to our customers. So you'll see us focus in those two areas on a continual basis. And with our customers, you'll see continued investment in our product roadmaps. Uh, I mentioned some of the exciting innovation, but we have a lot more coming. And we've also have some new offering and service to our customers. To that end, we'll be rolling out some exciting tools. We have a self-service portal that we'll be rolling out this year. We have some, some new customer surveys that we'll be rolling out. Uh, we're engaging more with our customers. We've just completed a set of customer events. We started this year in Orlando. We went to London, to Vienna, to Singapore, to Sydney. And we titled these events Connection Events uh, in, a, in a way to uh, re-engage with our customers as a unified company. So many of our customers would know ION through the product that they've used for many years. But this was really the first time that we brought all of our treasury customers together shared this vision and talked about our new strategy of community moving forward. Let me just jump back a moment and ask about the comment you made about Dealogic being able to use that information. I mean, Dealogic helps organizations with deals. How would that benefit other customers? To, would this be related to rates, capacity, margins, uh, oversubscription? What, what, would, uh, what would you see the value for the corporate? Yeah, exactly. So our, our corporate customers are all interacting with banks and knowledge is key. And we have uh, a great deal of that data and knowledge uh, within our deal logic, but also our accurate systems. Um, and we're starting to, to generate some proof of concepts with customers. We're partnering with some of our larger customers to really see how they can leverage that data, uh, not only just integrated with deal logic and accurate, but in a more TMS integrated way. We're looking at Know Your Customer initiatives. We're working at uh, bank connectivity. We're looking at capital market information. Uh, and we're looking really, you know, what, what drives value for our customers uh, and how do we keep those core tenants of trying to improve their business on a day-to-day -day basis. And what we're finding is that customers are already subscribers to these services. Um, and if we can bring those services to them in a more integrated way with the system, we can improve some of the decision support that they'll use ION for uh, as a global vendor, not only a treasury provider. Very interesting. Power of data and power of a, a network or community, as you refer to it. Now, as we come towards the end of uh, this particular episode of the Treasury Update podcast, you know, the new and improved strategy at ION, I wanted to discuss, just hear you talk a little bit about some of the strategies or concepts or guiding principles you use for innovation at ION? What, what should we be thinking that you're thinking about? Yeah, I, I think, again, it's all at the heart of value for our customers. So with any software provider, you know, you want to make sure that you're driving benefit for the customers. And, and if that's your core tenant, you know, um, customers get great value out of the solution. They continuously improve. 
they take advantage of new features. For us, it's that core tenant of value, driving that value for our customers and doing that in a way that improves not only the business benefit of being an ION customer, uh, but also the technical benefit. And as you know, Craig, in this market, our customers are, they're constantly trying to drive greater value out of all their providers. They're constantly looking to improve the knowledge of how they run their treasury business. Uh, they're constantly trying to drive improve costs, lower total costs of ownership, uh, and do that in a variety of different business and technical ways. So that's at the heart of our innovation. And if you think of most solution providers, I would say that's at the heart of most solution providers' innovation. Uh, for ION, we take it maybe several steps further, if you will. So not only do we drive all that core tenant innovation in each of the products we offer, we also provide that portfolio effect, that benefit that we can offer across our, our treasury products. And, and being the largest vendor in the space and having a great deal of understanding and intelligence around where the market is and where it's going, that provides all our customers with great benefit towards roadmaps that are focused on improving how our customers operate. So if we just did that, I think you know we could be hugely successful as a vendor and provide great value to our customers. Uh, but we really fall back to the fact that our customers really want choice in in what they're what they're attempting to accomplish from a from a business point of view. So having a large number of TMS solutions and being able to provide our customers with choice has really been a, a valuable strategy for us uh, for many, many years and will for many years to come. I, I stress the fact that most software companies try to take the solution that they have and in some cases move that round peg into a square hole where they're simply trying to attack as many needs from a customer base as they can, but ultimately maybe not uh, able to address all of them. So with, with ION, and you think of our seven solutions, we're trying to offer the customer with the best solution to fit their needs. And in some cases, we have multiple offerings to do that. So with our multi-brand approach, we can work with a customer, we can really understand their needs, we can balance that against what the market's looking for, and we can bring multiple options to the customer. And then should they choose a solution from ION, we can also provide them with flexibility as their business evolves into the future. So giving them more and more choice as their business evolves to a different ION product should the need arise. And then if you layer on top of that, these cross product solutions we talked about, innovating at scale. And if you layer on top of that, data and analytics. And if you layer on top of that, the community effect. And if you layer on top of that, the ION group benefit in Dialogic and Accurus and many of the other businesses that we have at ION, it really provides a full-fledged strategy and a, and a great benefit to our customer base. And while it's still early days in some of those areas, we think as a vendor we can leverage all that to provide the best value to our customers uh, and to continue to provide that value to them long term. Thank you for that. Thank you for your time on this uh, episode of the Treasury Update podcast. You've reached the end of another episode of the Treasury Update podcast. Be sure to follow Strategic Treasurer on LinkedIn. Just search for Strategic Treasurer. This podcast is provided for informational purposes only, and statements made by Strategic Treasurer LLC on this podcast are not intended as legal, business, consulting, or tax advice. For more information, visit and bookmark strategictreasurer.com.